So, it's will be a it's, a it's a short guided image. You also can do it by exercises. I have also a sheet of papers, give people instruction how to do it in pairs. Uh, if you are not uh, daring to do it as a guided imagery, I have also versions you can do it as, as subgroups with four people. If you have four people, the, the feedback, the, the mirror is richer. If there are two, it's easier to do. It's more intimate, but these two also can get stuck. So when we do it in our training groups, we do it in subgroups of four. So it's a, the best number we know to have a compromise between diversity and intimacy and time and use of time. So we, I think we could do it here as three, as subgroups of three afterwards. Then for everybody we can use certain, uh, ten minutes to five minutes to tell their pictures and how they relate to them. And at least five minutes from the other to tell the person what came up in me when I listened to you when you dealt with your images, and then two, three minutes to look back to the process and then to come back. So we'll have um, 30 minutes after the guided imagery and then five to 10 minutes to close up here in the, mm -hmm. the day. Yeah, I see nodding, is that, mm -hmm. does this mm -hmm. make sense? Okay. So, the good is, the good thing with trans is that if we, we have already a connection on how you get in trans, you are uh, programmed. When I change my voice into my <laughs> trans <laughs> introduction voice, your organism might say, oh, that's what he means. So I can find my own track, certainly not only using his hints, but finding my own way into leaning back and into finding uh, a comfortable position and maybe and maybe going th going through the images that helped me yesterday to find a good position in which I I look at myself and not the way I watch myself, but I'm curious what will come up when I just be attendant and when I do not try to perform anything. And for the one person, it might, you, you might feel that your breath is changing. You might feel that you are in the process of relaxing. But it's not necessary, as we know today, trance is also possible in uncomfortable situations. And you know best which are the internal processes that help you to let go from purposely doing things, but more of being consciously aware what your unconscious might tell you. And it might be that the images that will come up are surprising. Some of them you might know already. Maybe the first images are not those you will choose in the end. It's okay to exchange it. For, trust your own judgment and let yourself just drift safe in the range of reality I am inviting you to. It's okay to have ideas and feelings, but it's not no need to identify with them. It's okay to register them. 
knowing that it's only a part of your world and you can decide how close this part is coming to you or how distant you want to look at it, register it. I don't know how far you are in your finding your place, but when I look at you, I'm confident that you will find your place if you're not yet there. And in what I said before, I, I announced you to focus on specific questions towards your professional life. If you are not focused by me, maybe there is one or the other image coming up within you. It's okay to register that too. We do not want to keep important things out. Welcome them, register them, but do not stick too much with them. It's okay to follow the instructions because it's a focused guided imaginary. And first of all, I want to invite you to choose an organization. Organization, this might be the organization you're working in, or it might be the whole organization, or a team, whatever. It might be an organization you are in cooperation with, or an organization that is a customer of yours. Just choose an organization with which you might have an issue of wanting to know whether you, are, you, you and this organization are in a good match with each other. You may not be sure whether it's a question of matching, but somehow your intuition will know which organization should now be in the focus. And if you found it, just keep it somewhere and I switch the focus to your professional development. And I prepared you to put the images you will find into six frames. And the first three frames are for you as for an image for you as a professional. And the first frame is asking, is there an image somehow coming up to your mind representing your professional life, your, you as a professional in the past. And I don't know what the past is for you. Does it mean last month or last year or last decade? You can decide yourself. And it's okay to be awake enough not to deeply asleep and snore. It's not no need to snore. This is the first picture. I don't know whether an image is coming up. If one is coming up and you feel you could at least for the moment adopt it, put it in the first frame me, professionally, in the past. Then we go on in your development timeline to the presence. And maybe you find an image of somehow kind that is representing 
you as a professional today, you, your professional life today. You must not understand the image that is coming up. It's okay just to register it. And you, if you understand it somehow, and you can choose, maybe between several, do so and put that image into the second framework. Me as a professional today. And then we turn to the future. We certainly do not know what the future will be, but we have a, some kind of intuition what it could be, where to it tends to go. And you might have an image, you as a professional in future. And I don't know what future is for you. It might be next month, next year or in 10 or 20 years, your unconscious mind will select what seems to be right for you. And if you have found an image for that, put it into the third frame. Me tomorrow. Sometimes it's not a visual image, sometimes it's a feeling, it's a sound, it's a sentence or a word or a song, instead of a visual image. I don't know how you will manage it, but you can put that into a kind of frame as well. Now you can step back a bit and maybe you have now three frames with three images. Me yesterday, me today and me tomorrow. And you can shortly look at each of them and store them for later. Then we change focus and please now direct your attention to the organization you have chosen. Maybe it changes, that's okay too, but Please keep it stable for all three frames. And when you are aware of this organization and direct your imagination to this organization, how it was in the past, what is the situation, an image, a song, a feeling, whatever, that is representing what this organization was for you in the past. And if you came to an image, put it into the first frame of the second row. And then we direct our attention to the presence. How is this organization today? Is there any picture, any impression that stands for how you experience this organization today? It's okay to be awake enough. Wake enough to be aware of what you experience internally.
Did you find an image for this organization at present? And if you did, put it into the frame, the second frame of the second row. And if you have woken up too much, it's okay to go back to that point where you have been in good contact with your image. Now let's turn to the future. If you have an imagination about this organization tomorrow, or maybe next year or in 10 years, to where is it going? in your point of view. And you have an image that points to your imagination. It might come up spontaneously. And it, you don't have to understand it, but when it somehow feels meaningful, put it into the third frame, in the second row. Mm -hmm. And after you have done this, step a bit back and look all at the three images connected with the organization organization yesterday, today, and tomorrow. It may be other experiences and images and thoughts and feelings came up. That's okay. You just register them. And if you want to include them in your telling, sharing later, that's okay as well. But somehow it's okay also to stay focused on these six images, three about your professional development and three about the development of an organization. And as you slowly wake up again, bring your images with you. You are totally free how much of them you want to share with others. There will be two others and you will sh each of you will have five minutes time just to tell these six images and how you feel with them, how you look at them and what relations between the images you see and how you do you react on that. And the others only listen during that time. And after you have spoken and really looked to the time, Keep the time, please. Then the others, the others during that process watch what images come up within them listening to you. And they just tell you these images. Do not discuss at all. Just offer your imaginations and exchange them. I don't know how far you are already back in uh, day functioning organization, but as you can hear and see, everybody is coming back in his or her own way. Um, Now please, 
look around in the room and somehow intuitively let you find yourself find two partners. 